They can turn the water off. They can turn the water off. You know, if you wanted to, if you wanted to work on this side, you could. See, it's just a thin film of water running down there the whole time. But on the other side, you know, it's uh, it's just clear glass. Are you going to be able to see it through the? I guess so. Uh, you know, see, what would be interesting to see what, see what happens with the water running down. I mean, to see what, what that does to the infantry on the top. It's going to make it go fuzzy. It's big. It's big. It's clear. I didn't know when I was first speaking to Keith exactly what he would be doing. But I knew that there were going to be lots of possibilities and I knew that they were going to be fairly limitless simply because of the nature of his work. I already have in mind when I approach somebody, I think to some extent, what that person might be able to do because I know the sort of circuit that that artist can, uh, can be fitted into. And I think that's one of the things about uh, doing visiting artist projects. You do instinctively seize on something that you know is going to be exciting and interesting and workable in a practical sort of way. I was in London, and there was a show there very much about a group of New York artists involved in urban imagery and urban concerns. Now, it was the scale, the energy, uh, the excitement that immediately drew me. That whole graffiti, guerrilla strategy, which goes with the thing, moving into something, striking quickly, um, you know, the work is there, bang, very, very suddenly. And that's part of the excitement and part of the energy of the work too. story about um, life in the modern world oh, and maybe about the future. Are you going to paint it more better? What? Are you going to paint it more better and put a couple of colours into it? Yeah, yeah, there's more colours. Oh, so you, you just painted it white. Do you know Michael Jackson? Next time you see him say, Colin Heidi said it live. <laughs> Thank you. 
blatant sort of copy of Aboriginal styles and Australian folklore in general. I don't think it's on for a New York artist to come to Australia and give Australians a meat pie, as it were. And, uh, but as for actually painting on the gallery, I, I think that's fine. He's an American, isn't he? Yeah, New York. Yeah, right. He used to do graffiti work on stations. Yeah. Well, do, you like his, uh, do you like his work? Yeah, it's great. It's, um, you get something from it? I hope they don't rub it off. They that's will. for sure. They will. How pathetic. Last time Daniel Buren did a, a, um, a piece on the art just here and they took it off. It's just pathetic. Why don't they just stop that sort of let's keep our building precious, keep the works they got here now? Yeah, well, I know they're going to take it off they in are. about a month's time. Yeah. <laughs> That one's going to be a lot harder to paint on. I mean, this one's a nice one to paint on because it's nice and flat. The bricks are really a pain to paint on. Do you think they'll remember the drawings when you get back? I would hope so. They will. I think they should remember them for a year. This is really a situation where no one's seeing me. Yes, but at one stage, I thought you were worried about us filming you while you're drawing. And uh, um, it doesn't seem to be a problem now. No, I mean, I'm used to people f I've been videotaped and filmed and photographed and I draw all the time. But originally you preferred us not to. Is that right? No, it's not. I don't mind when I'm, when I'm drawing. It's more. Well, no, I don't mind anything. Really, the only things that bother me are things like questions, I guess. Because drawing, I mean, I'm comfortable drawing any time anyway. Because then you really... Because my drawing speaks for itself. The thing that I have trouble with is, is uh, trying to um, explain things or trying to, trying to put into words. Or justify what I'm doing. No, I paint with lines, so I make lines. And whether I'm making a line with a piece of chalk or a stick or a paintbrush, the end result is a, is a crisp, solid line that's depicting and cutting through space. The way that I'm using images and drawing goes right back to the much more original idea or the, the more <coughs> basic idea of what drawing really is. Man making an image in the world or making some connection between man and the world that he lives in. That's the reason why it has 
so much in common with art of other cultures. I mean, when I come here and I see all these Aboriginal drawings, and it, it looks like things I've been drawing. Right. The sort of level of concentration that's going on while you're drawing is somewhere in between ritual and work, because in some ways you're in a heightened state of awareness because the amount of attention you have to pay to every move that you're making and sort of the complete synchronicity of your body and your eyes, the way your hand is moving so that you're exactly holding the brush at the right angle away from the thing. But if you lose it, you start to do things like when you bring a circle around and bring the other side up, it doesn't match up, so you've got a little bump. I mean, there's a lot of times where that'll happen in a drawing. Even though you're not painting to the rhythm necessarily or painting to the beat of the music, is still keeping a sort of steady level of concentration or maybe it's a level of unconcentration so that you have enough room to not think about what you're doing so that it just happens automatically. Uh, Minister, Patrick, members of the press and media, I see that this, uh, this marvelous piece that Keith Haring has done as being, in, in a sense, uh, symbolic. The image of birth in the, uh, in the center panel is not entirely inappropriate to the occasion, and it has the energy and the excitement and the enthusiasm that uh, I hope will color all of the activities of the Center for Contemporary Art in the future. Uh, Mr. Herring uh, can be interrupted momentarily from his work, but you do understand he's still got a long way, way, way to go. I hope he won't distract him too much from his creative labors. Um, but also in a sort of, in a, in a ritual sort of way, so that it, it's also a celebration in some ways. But the specific images sort of have changed a little bit from it being here, slightly like adapted to, to that place so that it is uh, the and and sort of particularly the other things will be inside. Part. The center part is going to be it, much um, more dense. It really it depends on the individual policeman because a lot of the cops and like the drugs. So sometimes they'll, um, sometimes when they, when they cast me, they're, um, they've been trying to deal to with the modern world or the, the dilemma of man now being in a position where he controls his own destiny. Spread my arms out. Some <laughs> tacky pose, but... Ta-da! Okay. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. And I'm just going to try one other thing. It's hard to deal with, but I'm used to it, I guess. You have to not only be a good painter, but you also have to be able to deal with being photographed. And all of a sudden, you become a model and a performer and all these other things, which... That's what you enjoy, isn't it? Well, it has nothing... I don't know. Sometimes I enjoy it, sometimes I don't. But it doesn't matter whether you enjoy it or not. You still have to do it. You know, it becomes... It's something, I mean, I've gotten much more at ease at it than I was in the beginning, you know. Yeah. All it does is it, it sort of blocks out the inside, which is good. You know, it makes the things on the inside blurry, but the lines, you can still see the lines really good. <laughs> so you, you reckon you'll keep the water Yeah, I think they should keep it on. Because that's the whole, the whole idea idea of the wall is that it's a water wall, right? So, but did you have that? I mean, I knew there was going to be water running down when I painted it, so, so I mean, I didn't paint things about water on it, but um, I don't think it, it does matter at all. Yeah, well, that's, I guess, I mean, I thought of putting the whole, you know, putting, making the whole thing be about water, but, no, I think the water is good on it. Yeah, let the water off. Are those your film lights, or are those re the normal think, lights for the inside? No, I think they're the lights of the gallery. Because the light in that tonic bomb looks great, with water coming through it. Do you think that it's um, what you expected, or did you have any sort of preconceived idea about it? Well, a little, you know, I mean, it was thought about it a little bit, but it's pretty much um, innovative as you go, really. Do you like what I mean, you've done? Yeah, I guess. Why do you? I like it. I mean, <laughs> no, nah, I never know when people ask you. When people, people also ask you, like, how do you think it's going, or, or do you think you do you think it turned out well? I never know. If, but don't you know like, what's good with your own work, or can you only criticize others? Well, I always like it. I guess if I you know, 
I mean, you have to always like it, sort of. I've got a feeling you like your work quite a lot, actually. <laughs> no, I mean, if I if I had done something I didn't like, I would have scraped it off or something. But I never, I don't, you know. You've never done that? No. On that thing. one, uh, but it's smudged there too. That's not that. I can touch that. There's one in here. And make it look on purpose. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> Which one? That one. It has a little smudge there. That can be the thing that was the racing. But this one here this is one the worst. Fuck too. So is that. That's ruined. That one's ruined. Can it be touched up? No. I mean, just but, I, mean, I mean, you know, I mean, if I had got in there in time, it could have been worse. I think this one's a write-off, and that one is not good. What about this one? That one's okay. I don't, I don't mind those little oh, that was on aberrations before. there. That was oh, it was. Oh, I thought he'd done that as well. No, that was from the from dripping it while the orange was still wet. That one's alright. I don't want to throw that away though. I really like it. Yeah, I do the same. But you're going too? No, I'm not going too. No, so I'll, I'll, uh, okay. I'll, I'll catch up with you. Okay? Yeah, ciao. I'll see you in have a, have a Have a good time in Sydney. Thanks, okay. and, uh, what day are you coming? Saturday or Sunday? I'll probably come tomorrow morning. Okay. Yes. So okay. bring a wig. <laughs> you have to go to Marty. You have to have a wig tonight. And a sequin dress. Yeah. Who's that going in your house? That's all right. <laughs> it's the school guard now. Don't worry.
good today. It was great. I mean, we got more than more than I expected done. It was almost halfway done, so it will probably be finished tomorrow. I'll save some for Thursday, because there's supposed to be press Thursday morning. So I'll just save the little piece around the back corner. You literally got to hold it off for the press. Well, it won't be any problem. I mean, I'll just, you know, there's about a good day's work there tomorrow. So. There's no drips on your... Yeah, I was sort of surprised, actually. I mean, this is one of the first ones I ever did with no drips at all. Deliberate? It doesn't usually happen. Well, I never try to make drips. I mean, drips happen because of the kind of paint. Um, you know, the, the, the plastic, the consistency of the paint makes, decides whether they're drips or not. But, uh, so, so you're off, off to your hotel actually, I was trying, I was going to mention it earlier, but I thought I should not say anything about it until I don't have, because now, now that I said there's no drips, I know tomorrow there's going to be drips. So I wish they would still let me do this thing on the outside, but I don't think they're going to. What's that? Put a, I want uh, to do a pat, put a panel inside. Because they only have four of them, but they have slots for, for like, the rest. I guess they ran out of money or something. So I want to, want to make a plywood one and stick it in there. I mean, it would be perfect. But I don't think they're ready to go for it. But maybe, by the, maybe the, when this painting's done, they'll be convinced. She's Washington or some film, but she's really shady. I don't really know. She's like, she's real nice, and then she says really mean things, and then she's really nice again, so I don't understand what her deal is. But I, swear, I can't keep saying well, I mean, she said she was... Because now she was already, and now she said it's going to be up for three months. First, she said it's going to be up for... You know, I'm just finishing this big painting, right? Incredible painting. And she comes to tell, you know, say it's going to be repainted in one month. And I was like, a month is so quick. Because that means it wouldn't even be up in time for the Biennale. And the one great thing about it happening now, even if it's up for three months, is if it's up during the Biennale, then a lot of people are going to come from other countries and things, and we'll see it, right? And it'll be part of, you know, they'll see that at the same time. Did the director see the work? I don't know. I guess it comes down, and he didn't say anything to me. I see him, like, looking from the side, but he didn't say anything or smile or anything. So, yeah. I guess I, I was, like, expecting too much because I was um, coming from Melbourne and the incredible way I was treated there, I just, you know. It's not, it's not, it like, it's not like Melbourne. No. But it doesn't matter because the, the, it's not for the museum, it's for the people. And the people are the same anywhere. So people coming, I mean, you can't like, get mad and take it out on the museum because it's still, it's not for the directors anyway. I mean, even though it, once I'm gone, later on, they'll take credit for it and say that, you know, they had the insight to get Keith Haring here and all these things. Like when they when they finally realize that that'll do them some good, then they'll do that. I mean, it's still it's better for me to to cut out the commercial galleries and go directly to the museum, you know, because it's going right from the street to the museum and cutting out commercial galleries completely. That's the best way to go, right? Because it's it's in the middle part with commercial galleries that it starts to get confused and sticky. But here it's already from one from the street to a public institution, which is you know, a perfect crossover. Mm -hmm. Favorite city I've been in Australia or favorite city in the world? Around the world. What, what do you like? Uh, I guess Tokyo's, well, New York's my favorite city. And then probably uh, Tokyo. This city was all right. Just as far as cities go. But, uh, 
I guess it wouldn't really be up there with my... Sorry? It, I guess it wouldn't be up there with my top favorite cities, but it was okay. I mean, most places have something about them that are, are unique and make it interesting. What about Tokyo? What is it about Tokyo? Um, well, I think because it's the most space-age city that exists. And it's sort of the most interesting clash between the uh, culture and tradition and all the things in there. Uh, and it's probably the most visually exciting scene in the world. Hi, hello. Yes, how are you? Good. Good. How are you? 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 <laughs> photographers, is he? and he'll be he'll be down in a second. Oh, good. What we're going to do? Let me explain. I didn't tell you that we're going to have a film crew. The film crew are sort of like just here all the time, mm. and uh, <laughs> I mean they're, they're, they're making a film about about yeah. Australia. Yeah. So he'll be down in a minute, and then we can just start the meeting. Okay. Sure. Shouldn't take too Thanks. long because somebody coming to interview him again at one o'clock. It's just been back to back, sort of like uh, all, all morning. Pussy, I didn't know you weren't modelling anyway. I would have done something for you. I thought you were modelling for Bruce and Sarah. They asked me to put time to. I said no. You've met Bella? Yep. And Pussy? Rob Bellion, have you met before? And Robert Pierce. Um, the parade consists of about 30 artists, fashion designers, it's an industrial designer, and an engineer. And they're all creating different uh, costumes, so to speak for a big parade that will take place on a big stage that has about four separate little stages. Did you talk specifically about uh, about what Keith might do? No, not really. Well. Not really. We didn't want to impose anything on him, you know. Yeah, I think... Well, I think the idea of painting a body is the, best, the most interesting to me. How many would you paint? I think just one. Just one? Two, yeah. Or two at the most. Because yeah, mm. sure. I'd rather do one and do it really well than do a couple half-assed. Oh. What's the actual beautiful thing? Be? Color red or blue? Blue, I reckon. What do you know? I don't know. Blue, because red's all around. Red, it be natural color. Oh, no, no, you've got to paint it. No, I don't want people to see my real nipples. <laughs> I'm, I'm an exhibitionist, man. Hey, man. And this one's better. This one's better to get to than that. Right this is a page of original. for this job, you didn't say you had any twitches. Yes, I did. I said I got cold very easily. You turn off the... Can someone turn the heater back on? But put no, on no, like, no, that'll just burn No, me. but on number like one or two instead of on off. So how long have you been an artist, man? <laughs> That was a good time to ask me that. About 15 minutes, I just... It's my first time I ever did it. They just grabbed me off the street. What the hell is this? A snake. Is it a mouse snake? What's its name? I was at a disco. And I walked down the stairway past uh, a man about town. So I, like, flashed me, you know, 
I walked in, kind of seductively. Anyway, he, I grabbed his attention, and with him was a gentleman, an artist, who claimed that he was looking for someone to do this modeling job. It's great. He's very light-hearted, very... He just likes to fuck around. Muck around a lot. He, you know, we went to the paint store. He was very jumpy and speedy and laughing a lot, passing out his badges to all the people in the shop. But he's very nice. Very intelligent. About the parade? Tonight's performance. Yeah, yeah. I'm shitting myself. Rap dancing by Isolation, radio by Kenny Sharp, body jock straps, hats, and t shirts by Keith Harry. <laughs> easier to sit down and talk about drawing when I'm not drawing. I mean, I can't talk about what I just did because I don't know what I just did, you know. I can talk about drawing when, I mean, I thought we're going to sit down and we'll tape all those things when I just talk, right? Yeah. I don't like to talk about what I'm doing when I'm doing it because I don't know what I'm doing when I do it. Right. Well, I just That's why, I mean, I said you can come in if you want, show me while I'm drawing, but I don't want to, I mean, we'll, I'll sit down and talk and say all kinds of things. When I'm there to talk, but, but as the doing, two don't go hand in hand. You can't tell me if you feel happy about what you're doing at the moment. That's not what it's about, you know. I mean, I was thinking about this last night, too, about all the great things I could say about drawing and my, you know, what it's like to draw things like that, but it's not the same time as when you're doing it, you know. It's another. But I'll sit, that's what we're going to do all those things on tape, so don't waste your film when I'm being angry now. <laughs> not angry, but... <laughs> So 
How long did this one take? Um, I don't know, four hours, something like that. I mean, I just did no what, drawings in what would be the so. What would be the selling price of um, I don't know, you have to talk to my dealer. Oh, this is weird shot. I don't talk about it. I mean, I don't think how much it's worth and how long it took has anything to do with each other. Values based on a complete other set of principles. Well, it's just it's something interesting to talk about anyway, how you, how you, what sort of, you, what you work by as far as your values or your principles in art. And uh, speed has nothing to do with it. It's what the inspiration at the moment, I suppose, is the valuable part of that. Well, no, I thought, I mean, you're talking about two different kinds of value. I thought you were talking about money value. That has nothing to do with the value of the piece, really. Money's a complete separate thing, which really doesn't have anything to do with how long it took or how, or what the value of the piece is, because money's based on an art market, which is something completely different. It has to do with other other things besides how much the value of the thing. Most people can't tell which are my great, I mean, I keep all the best paintings, because most people can't tell. I, I'm, some people can tell. I mean, my good friends can tell. And some good critics can tell. Tony can tell. One idea is the idea of kids dropping out of school because of the new technology and that that's available. Try to find jobs or whatever. He didn't really know what he was going to do till this morning. Now he had a few ideas and he, he said he doesn't really want to tell anyone until it's finished. You know, he just wants us to see what's going on as it happens. Keith, why are you taking the drips off? Because there's only a couple, and it really bothered them. I mean, every once in a while I do it. Everyone, every once in a while I paint the drips out, depending on what kind of painting it was. Because there's only about four or five drips on them, so they look out of place. You know, they don't, they don't always like it. Especially on a painting like this, because it really bothers. It bothers. You know, I could tell it bothers them. Because it's like not um, poor crap. <laughs> no. I did that, no, I've done it before a few times. I did it in Switzerland. The sort of stupid action that you're doing there, the same sort of stupid action when we get people that are going to draw it on their wall. Getting a bit fed up with telling you guys to behave yourselves. I don't want to say any more, Zoran. Get in front of the wall quick before he takes you away. Oh, select Mr. McDonald. No, 
know, you were asking me my opinion of Keith Haring, and I said that I thought he was sweet. I wasn't so sure at first, and then I thought, well, he's only a baby, he's 25. <laughs> Why only a baby? 25's no great age. What will he do next? <laughs> How long will it last, you mean? How long will it last? He's a friend of Andy Warhol's. Considerable time. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.